The world around us is a big place, and to that end, there are some things that you'd expect, including seeing a whole bunch of people that look different from you, whether it be the color of their skin, their height, the way they do their hair, everyone's different. But sometimes people look or sound or appear very different, and it can kind of be shocking. Allow us to show you seven people you won't believe actually exist. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number six, Yoti Amj. No, your eyes do not deceive you. Yoti Amj is a very real person. And a more importantly in her distinction, she is a very real adult woman. Yes, she is an adult and yet is the smallest woman in the world today. In fact, she's going to be 27 later this year and yet she's only 62 centimeters tall and sounds like a child. So how did she end up this way? Simple, she has a genetic defect in her bones that makes it so that she can't grow. To put it simply, your bones and your height are dictated by your genetics via your parents' DNA, okay? Well, for some reason, Yoti's bones didn't get enough hormones to grow. As such, they didn't go to their proper length, and thus Yoti is stuck in the form you see her in now. The irony, though, is that she's totally fine with it. Her size has honestly gotten her a lot of fame, and she's even been on TV shows like American Horror Story, has had a documentary made about her and more. She says she loves her life and wants to dedicate it to something that'll make her happy, which in this case is acting. We wish her all the luck in her endeavors. Number 5. Sultan Kosen Well, we just showed you the smallest woman in the world today, so how about we show you the tallest man? Sound good? The largest living human alive today is a man named Sultan Kosen. A man who, when measured in 2009, was the first person to be over 8 feet tall in over 20 years which was measured and recorded by the Guinness Book of World Records, obviously. His full height, which was measured a few years after, is 8 feet 2 inches at its tallest. His story of his height isn't what you might expect, though. Sultan Kosen was born in 1982, but his skyrocketing height didn't happen until he was 10 years old. If you're curious as to how something like this happens, it's a rare condition called pituitary gigantism. Don't know what that is? Don't worry, I'll explain. Your brain has a piece called the pituitary gland, and it's that gland that allows you to grow via hormones. It regulates how much you grow based on genetics. However, at times it can basically run amok, causing gigantism like with Sultan Kosen. By run amok, we mean that gland didn't tell the body to stop growing, it just kept sending hormones and thus making Sultan taller and taller. As you might expect, there are many struggles to have unnaturally sized body, including not being able to fit into many buildings, finding the right size clothes, and participating in certain average events. You might think this would limit his life and where he can go. You'd be wrong. Not unlike Yoti, he has made the most of his life and has also done Hollywood and Bollywood movies because of his height. He doesn't let it weigh him down and uses his fame to make the most out of everything. So whether you're the tallest of the people or the shortest of them, you can have a meaningful life if you put your mind to it. Number 4. Isaiah Acosta Born in 1999, the moment that Isaiah Acosta came out of the womb, his doctors said that he wouldn't survive. There were numerous complications with him, including the one that is oh so obvious. He was born without a jaw. Can you imagine that? I don't think he can because without this key piece of your body, you can't talk and he never will. That being said, Isaiah has defied the odds to not just live, but survive and thrive. He used his time in school to express himself in the only way he could via writing and his artistic endeavors. To that end, he met a rapper named Trap House who would sing the lyrics that Acosta made. He may not be able to sing them himself, but at least this way his voice is going to be heard. Number 3. Sarah Gertz If you were to just look at the face of Sarah Gertz, you wouldn't see anything wrong per se. You'd think you're looking at a woman in the middle of her life that has probably had a good one via the experience that her face shows. When you look at the rest of her body, you'll see that it's covered with wrinkles, which might make you think that something went wrong in her life to cause her to be this way when she's so old. Here's the twist. She has a rare skin disease where her skin doesn't have enough collagen, which is what makes your skin strong and elastic. So because of this, she not only looks old, her skin looks like rubber at points. Does she let this weigh her down? Nope, she's a model. A social media pic showing off her condition and encourages people not to be shy about their imperfections. Number 2. Martin Sheedy 
Martin Sheedy is another great example of doctors thinking that someone has no chance of living, and yet they do. When Martin was born in Michigan, the doctors gave him not one, not two, but three different diagnoses that they felt would kill him very soon. But his parents didn't agree, and so they took him to other doctors until they finally figured out he had a rare disease that would affect his joints, but was treatable enough to allow him to live. And live he did. Because of his weak joints in his legs, Shidi has to walk in a scissor-like pattern. But that doesn't hinder him more than you think. He can drive, go to school, and even play bowling. He's majoring in business and isn't afraid to be looked at because he knows he's alive. Number 1. Lalit Patadar If I say to you, werewolf, you no doubt will picture a man or a woman who transforms into a wolf-like creature in a full moon setting. But in real life, there is a disease known as werewolf syndrome. And in this instance, it's a hair disease where people grow hair in places they honestly shouldn't, which is what Layla Patadar has. As you can see, this boy's face is covered with hair, and his body hair is much thicker than it should be. It's so thick that he can't breathe through his nose, and he has to be mindful of the hair else it'll obstruct his vision. Still, he's living a life as best he can, and maybe one day he'll find a way to make the hair go away. And there you have it, a look at seven people who most definitely aren't what you expected when you came here, and are very different from most. Does seeing them and what they live through and go about their life make you feel better on your own? Do you see now that life sometimes isn't as simple as it's made out to be? Do you know another person who could be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.